Hello, my name is Paul Crawford. I'm the director curator here at the Pentagon Art Gallery. And I want to welcome you now to our three summer exhibitions, the second of which of our exhibitions this summer is uh, Rooted in the Okanagan, which is an exhibition featuring the work of Noel Derrickson, otherwise known as Tawaskit by his indigenous name. He's an Okanagan artist, and uh, by all senses of everything, probably the first contemporary Okanagan artist that I've ever been able to come across here in the Okanagan. Uh, started working as an artist in the 1960s, met up with an artist by the name of Zelko Kajunzik, who started an art school in Kelowna in the 1964-65, and uh, really helped nurture Noel's talent and help them give him a real great design sense. I first discovered Noel's work at a thrift store in Victoria. I saw a print there called Weasels in Spring. And when I first bought it, I was amazed by the graphic quality of the image. And I thought, oh, this has got to be an artist from the Woodland School, an Eastern Canadian artist. And I uh, brought it back here to Penticton and started to do some research on the piece, and only to find out that he was uh, lived up in West Bank. And Noel Derrickson was the former chief of the West Bank First Nations. In the late 60s, he got elected to chief. At the same time, he was starting to make this art, as I had mentioned, and became the president of the British Columbia Indian Arts and Crafts Society, and also in the early 70s founded the National Arts and Crafts, Indian Arts and Crafts Society as well. And all the time was making art, started a gallery in Kelowna called the Tawaska Gallery, and was a real proponent of Okanagan Nation and the Okanagan uh, Indigenous art form, uh, for which he was sort of the primary person to start the whole contemporary scene using that. And his work dovetails importantly and very much with the rise of contemporary indigenous art across Canada. Artists like Dorval Morisot in the east and Kanojwak up in the Arctic and certainly on the west coast here. And unlike the artists on the west coast, Noel was free from having any sort of long-standing traditions with form line or things like that. And he was free to sort of develop his own artistic interpretation of the land and the landscape and the animals that lived here. And this is the body of work that we had. Uh, certainly here at the gallery, we did a large show of his work in 2017, and we've been actively trying to add to our collection ever since then to try to create this real sort of resource of his work and explore the depth and the breadth of his work, and more importantly, put into a national context to give a, a greater sense of how the Okanagan Nation and Knoll has impacted the arts across British Columbia, the Okanagan, and certainly across Canada as well. And so recently, this last spring, we were presented with an opportunity to acquire 15 pieces from a collection down in Washington State. I met one of our board members, Nancy Schmidt, helped raise the money to do that and purchase the collection in honor of her mother who just passed away this spring. And so this is a representation of not only those 15 works that we were able to acquire this last spring through this purchase, but also works we've been collecting over the years that sort of give a fuller story of his work, including ceramics, seriographs, acrylics on canvas, and a related ephemera that sort of helped tell the story of Noel Der Derrickson. And thrilled and honored to be able to have this collection and really looking forward to building and expanding upon this and really telling that story. And hopefully one day get out and tour this exhibition to other galleries throughout the region, across the province, and maybe even nationally, and, and certainly put Noel in his rightful place in terms of the national rise of the contemporary indigenous art movement. Again, my name is Paul Crawford. I'm the director curator here at the Penticton Art Gallery. This is Noel Derrickson, and this exhibition called Rooted in the Okanagan works from the permanent collection of the Penticton Art Gallery, and are on display here until September the 9th.